start this live stream celebrating World Smile Day. Talk to you soon. We'll be right back. All right, first comment in is Karen Pang watching on Facebook. Hi, back to you. Uh, Kania, Kanya, hey, back to you. You're watching live on YouTube. Clara Kuntz is, uh, hello, back to you. Michael Lopez, hello to you. And uh, Kanya said, I love the painting you drew of Black Panther. Thank you very much. Uh, so we're celebrating World Smile Day. We're gonna start very soon. And uh, wherever you are in the world, just let me know in the comments where you're watching this from and uh, we'll start. Back to the to that yep so mom I see you uh, she's watching from the Ontario airport thanks for the play-by-play -play action mom hope you had a good trip uh, let's see she also said smiling at you I'm smiling back we're celebrating it's world smile day I don't uh, so I'll explain this while we're doing this today and how I found out but uh, also Kanye is watching from Washington DC and yes let's go back to the other one Alessiane, Aless, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but hi back to you as well. And let's see, Tammy, uh, oh no, live stream for me is playing up, I'm not sure. But uh, Karen Payne, yes, she said, can't wait to see what you have in store for World Smile Day. I think it's one of the most famous smiles, at least I want it to be. I don't know what other famous smiles you've seen, but this one, this one will be fun. So. Uh, we're gonna start in about one minute, we'll, this live stream, uh, before we get to the weekend as well. So thank you everyone for being here. Real quick shout out to Ahmad watching on Facebook from Morocco. So welcome to you as well. Oh, and Alessiane, I know I'm probably saying that right or wrong, watching from Sacramento. So welcome to you as well. All right. Welcome to Art Life Live. My name is David Garibaldi. We're celebrating World Smile Day and I'm gonna create what I hope is one of the most famous smiles in the world. I don't know. Uh, welcome to the show, Let's Paint.
All right, welcome to the show. This is Art Life Live. My name is David Garibaldi. Those of you that are new, uh, welcome to you. I am a performance painter. I'll be creating a large portrait for you. And during that process, we're gonna chat. I'm gonna share my process and hopefully answer your questions. We're celebrating World Smile Day. But if you're watching over here on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or Periscope, you just saw that video about my virtual paint nights. So the next one is on October 10th and you need to register to join, but I'm gonna walk you through step by step through a, what has been over a two hour process bringing these paintings to life, but uh, we have something to sip on. We've got music and we're presenting this in several different camera angles and you're, you know, we're joining people from around the world for this virtual paint night. So the next one's October 10th and you can get more info at GaribaldiArts.com forward slash paint. Uh, for now, I see some cities popping up of where you're watching this from. Karen Pang says, down the street in Elk Grove, welcome to you. Uh, Jolie Lozano, hit the like button. Yes, if you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, or anywhere else, uh, hit the like button. Also, if you don't already do this, uh, subscribe and follow as well. So, uh, Joan said, Joni from Sacramento, hi back to you as well. Massimo from Florence, Italy. So Massimo saw me, if I remember this right, you saw me live in Milan this past summer when I was opening for Kiss. That was a wild show. If you have a name like Garibaldi in Italy, people just act a little more wild and crazy. So that was a fun show. Uh, so, oh, jo Jolie's got, I think, I think it's a joke. So she said, sounds like Mona Lisa coming up. It's World Smile Day. She has like, is she smiling or is Mona Lisa smirking? I, I can't remember or decide what it is, but, or maybe it's RBF. I don't know. Is, is, is Mona Lisa have the original RBF? Can someone answer that for me? Or is she smiling? I don't know. Uh, so Kanye said, I follow you on Instagram. Thank you for that and you're watching this on YouTube as well. So if you follow me on Instagram, I posted something today. Uh, there was a new post with a quote that just said, stop acting like you live twice. I don't know who needed to hear that. I don't know who's thinking that they have a second shot at this, but we have this one life and I want you to live it full out uh, and you have the control to create it as well. And it happens every day with starting by doing what you love and doing it with um, passion. So we'll talk more about that through my process. Also, you're gonna wanna follow me on Instagram as well because tomorrow I'm gonna post a giveaway. We're doing an original painting giveaway on my Instagram tomorrow morning and I'm partnering with Arteza. They make these awesome acrylic paints that I've been using here at my, my table. And we're doing a giveaway of like these two huge bundles of acrylic paints, supplies, canvas, and an original painting. So we'll talk more about that. But are you guys ready for a painting right now? If you're ready for a painting right now, just give me a thumbs up emoji, just so I know you're here with me. I'm ready to paint, I've, I'm, I've been ready to paint. But if you're watching this on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch or Periscope, I'm losing track. Just give me some thumbs up if you're ready to get into today's painting, celebrating World Smile Day. I'm gonna create what I think is one of my favorite smiles ever, next to my kids and my family. And this, all right, if you guys are ready, let's paint. All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, this is Art Life Live. I'm going to transform that blank canvas behind me into a, a portrait celebrating World Smile Day. So we're just gonna have fun with it. It's Friday. We're about to get into the weekend. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've been enjoying not traveling so I can really enjoy weekends home with the family. So uh, but we can't get to that yet. Real quick shout out to Amanda Bradford. 
I'm doing great. Also, special shout out. She's normally on my Facebook Live commenting right now, but she's here in person. So shout out to Deanna Myerson. Can we introduce you later on? Is that cool? So yeah, Deanna is usually on here, uh, you know, commenting, but she's here in person today. So we're gonna introduce her and just, I, I appreciate the love guys. So if you're ready, let's get into today's painting celebrating World Smile Day. Start with this. All right, let's paint. So I don't know if you noticed this yet, but we picked some badass music for this person because I think this person is pretty badass. And I'm curious how soon will you guys be able to guess who this is? Let's 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 put that to a test. So uh, we won't give away who it is, but we're gonna shout out the person to correctly guess this painting. In the meantime, uh, if you are watching this for the first time, if you could just let me know and type new in the comments if you're back, like Deanna, who's here with us today. If you're back, just say I'm back. We can shout you out as well. We can all welcome you. And if you have any questions about whether it's this art process, whether it's about you know, pursuing a dream that you have, a goal, whatever that is. I hope I can contribute in some way to your journey and I would love to answer your questions during today's live stream. So you can ask those questions in the chat and they're just gonna scream them at me from across the room. I, I feel like maybe because I'm up close to it, I feel like it's, I'm already giving away who it is, but we'll see. but I've never done this particular painting before. This is a new one for me. And what I'm doing now is I'm just adding uh, the colors, what we would consider these the undertones, just colors that I want to see in the background. As I add more color on top, I still want to feel these colors later on. So normally what kind of master artists or painters would do in the past is they would actually wash the whole canvas with a color or tone uh, that they want to see later on. So it could be something that's neutral, something that is, you know, cool colors, warm colors. Today, I just want these purple, these purple tones, these kind of rosy reds. I'm just gonna have fun with this. So today, yes, it, it is World Smile Day. I, uh, before we do the live sessions, I usually don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's rare that I know what I'm gonna do even like hours before the live stream. So today, I, I, I like to go to this website. Um, it, I, I don't know, it's, I think it's called like Holiday Today or something like that. And, and it tells you what holidays are coming up or what it is and um, there, you know, the one that came up today was World Smile Day. So I thought, okay, how can I use this as a source of inspiration for the painting? And not to be like super literal with it, but also to challenge me in uh, picking a subject that fits the inspiration, but also have, having fun with it too. So that's what helped me decide what I was gonna do today. And don't forget, you can ask your questions below in the chat and I will answer them the best that I can while I am painting. But once I'm done, I'm gone. And you have to wait till the next live stream to ask questions. 
So our first guest is Tina Turner. Great guess. Um, let's keep those guesses coming. I'm curious. Who do you think it is? And I always say this, all the guesses are right in the beginning. You can't be wrong because you're going off of information, which is, all right, we have a correct answer. Who, who, was, uh, who mentioned it? What, what's their name? Do Wolfel, all right. Do, do Wolfel, you are correct. I won't say what it is, but you're correct, sir. Celebrating World Smile Day with some badass music. Because this person is badass, that's what I think. Okay, <laughs> very different than his screen name. Jacob, great guess, you are correct. We won't say what it is. But it, it is crazy though, just what a few dots of color. Now if you think about this, what I'm doing right now, it's not a portrait yet, it's literally just color placed on the canvas in various, uh, various ways. But it's enough information for someone to guess what it is. And that's, to me, the crazy thing about paint in general is just how it, you know, it, in a sense, it's speaking to you because organized in a certain way, it starts to uh, recall memories that you have of where you may have seen this before. Where did you, where did you feel, what did you feel when you saw this? Just having a few dots of color on the canvas. Let's go back, let's get some more. All right, well, I'm sorry, so they asked, will I be making any prints? Yes. So someone asked, will I be making any prints from recent paintings? I just did a painting yesterday to kick off um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I'm pretty sure we'll get that one into production ASAP, because I, I do want to raise some money for um, causes that are dear to my heart with that. And I don't know, I'm curious, whoever asked that, is there, is there a painting that you have in mind that you saw recently painting that you want created? So let me know. Maybe we'll put it into production. Uh, let me just check out some comments. Someone says, is it Harvey Ross? Rose Bell? Is that what they said? Good guess. Okay. Someone said Gene Simmons from Kiss. That was, that was her guess. So Justin wants the Guns N' Roses one. I think Axl Rose would come after my head if I printed anything with Guns N' Roses on it. So... Uh, Justin, I wish we could do stuff like that. Uh, someone said the Joker. All great guesses. All right. Bill Murray. I could see that, actually. More than, more than any other guess. All right, let's keep getting back to this. Thank you for the chats below. Let's just go for this. This is the part that's going to really transform it. Uh, so will I be doing any of the reprints of the paintings I did with Matt Pat? So quick, quick little background, Matt Pat, we did a collaboration on YouTube and the paintings I did, I think it was of, um, uh, I think one of them was, um, God, who was that? Oh, Luigi from Mario Brothers. And then also we did one of some other video game, but um, I don't think that we'll do reprints of those. Those are kind of just one-offs. You know, a lot of times when I do these paintings, 
Um, people assume that I just do prints of all these and honestly, I'm just painting to paint. I'm painting because I enjoy the process and not everything goes into a print. I try to scan as much art as I can, but I don't look at everything like, all right, how can we, how can we reproduce this? Um, but there are times too where I think I do want to get art in your hands because not everyone, you know, has space for an original or you know, may not have the budget. So um, I do keep those things in mind. We will have some releases coming up in the next coming weeks. I'll say that. For those of you that want to get your hands on a giveaway for some art, we're doing a giveaway uh, tomorrow on my Instagram. So follow my Instagram to get more info about how you can win some original art and supplies all in one. Just building this up one layer at a time. Although the guess of it being Gene Simmons was was pretty uh pretty good one. We could still make it into Gene Simmons at this point. Alright, we got a Jack Nicholson guess. Interesting. So don't forget, uh, ask some questions below in the chat. Uh, I do try to take this time to answer any other questions that you may have. And uh, you can get some questions answered before we head into the weekends. And just remember, we do these live streams every Thursday and Friday as well. Let me ditch these brushes. I have so much paint on it that every color I've used is starting to come out of it. All right, let me search for the brush. Let's start. Uh, that's not the brush. All right, so someone just asked, what made me want to start painting? Um, when I was about 20 years old, I had been into art my whole life. And up until that point, I was getting into dance as well. I was kind of at a crossroads where I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my art until I lost my job and until I lost my apartment. And I, and I really had to start putting to work my you know, the creativity that I possessed, you know, there was no, it wasn't being used. And it was at a time when I really truly needed it and I needed to come up with something to get by. And so I started painting live at local jazz clubs and nightclubs. And I would started selling these paintings just here and there. And that's originally what got me into painting. Um, you know, I was able to naturally get into it because I had this foundation of art for my whole life. But I immediately realized that I'd never thought about painting before, but when I combined it with, you know, there was a live audience, there was some movement involved. I didn't know what I was going to get into just yet or how it would change my life. But, um, you know, 20 years old, it was a mixture of not doing anything with my creativity and then having to do something with it and making that decision. But um, it was just a combination of a lot of different life events all right let's look back let's get let's get back into this let me add a little bit of red to this this is if if other stuff wasn't a giveaway before this is definitely gonna be a giveaway so Even this, gotta build it up. 
one layer at a time. All right, it's a great question. Someone asked, what, is, what was my experience like on America's Got Talent? And uh, it was one of the hardest things that I've ever done because you can see how the pace that I'm painting right now, normally on stage, I create these paintings in six minutes or five minutes around that time. And on the show, I had to do each painting in 90 seconds. So I had to completely rethink what I did. Most comedians, you know, if they're funny in a few seconds, most dancers, you know, they have rhythm in a few beats. For what I do, I needed the whole 90 seconds to figure out, for people to know if I can paint or not. So there was that. Uh, it was one of the most challenging experiences, but also what I came out of that with was this confidence that anything is possible. We came in the fourth place, so I went five rounds through America's Got Talent, which was alone, you know, something to be proud of, but also I was just proud of how I felt, you know, working with my team and coming out of that just feeling more brave at the end of it all so it was it was an amazing experience all right let's get back to this let's get some let's get some gray and let's also get some purple since we have this happening right now So I'm using the, uh, the edge of the brush to create a texture. And you'll see that I'm also leaving behind some of the color from the canvas. Now when I do that, um, it actually, it's almost like the, the brush is doing the work for me. I don't need to create every single line of hair on this person. But in the, the way that I'm moving the brush on the canvas and leaving the color of the canvas behind, it's like the, the paint and the brush are really doing all the hard work, all the heavy lifting. Let's get some white. So same thing here, I started with the gray just to give uh, an undertone for the mustache. Same movements, really applying a little bit of pressure, just almost dragging the brush on the canvas while I'm moving. So I start the movement and then I make contact with the canvas. And I just repeat that, but really fast and over and over again. Let's, see, let's get that gray again. Let's go back and get that, that purple. And let's start adding some texture for the hair surrounding him. Again, I'm going to start that motion. I'm going to bring it in, make contact with the canvas, and I repeat that over and over again really fast in, in different directions. And I, I won't break it down now. I may break it down later in like, a, like an online lesson, but I just gave you the goods right now. That's pretty much how I'm getting these brush strokes quickly. As I start the motion, I keep that motion going, and I just make contact with the canvas along the way. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put his ear on here. I can't believe that. Sorry. Einstein. We'll call that an ear. Einstein, just crazy hair. And I love this, I just gave it away by the way, it's Einstein. Um, <laughs> if you didn't already pick up on this, but we were talking about this image earlier, how this person who is one of the smartest people of the last uh, 100 years, and you just see him in this moment of fun and personality on World Smile Day. I just thought, you know, let's not take ourselves too serious, especially today, so let's keep this going. Let's give him some eyes. So 
for the eyes, I'm gonna start with the gray first. This will help give the eyes some shape. Doesn't look too flat. And then I'll come back with some white. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I have a quick question for you. If you're watching this live stream, what color was Einstein's eyes? So let me know below in the chat what color was Einstein's eyes and I'm gonna use your answer to uh, paint it in. So let me know. You know, while we're here, let's just add some highlights. So someone said blue, looks like blue eyes. Can someone else confirm that? If I see blue like four more times, we'll make them blue. We'll just, I need, I need, a, I need a second opinion. Brown, okay, see, I'm glad. No offense to the person who said blue, but need a second opinion. He had brown eyes, great to know. So I've been, I've been painting blue eyes my whole career on his eyes, which. This is the money maker right here. Besides his mind, his hair was definitely the money maker. I wonder how many people are gonna dress up as Einstein for Halloween. All right, let's get some brown in his eyes. Well, I love that someone confirmed with his passport. The color of his eyes were Let's get into this. Let's get some black. Actually, let me, let's wipe my eyes first. There we go. These are paint on my face now. <laughs> I'm gonna mix some. Give a little indication of his coat, his shirt, the the direction of his body, just with that little mark. He has a shirt and a tie right there. All right, let's keep going. Let's add some color around him. It's World Smile Day. If you haven't already done it yet, I hope this brings at least one smile to some of you. I can't imagine a day going by without smiling.
So I can't have blue in his eyes, but I can still put blue. Actually, you know, you can make them, any, make, make him any color you want. If you're painting Einstein, you wanna give him blue eyes. Give him blue eyes. All right, we're done with that. Let's throw some paint before we end this off. All right, take one last look at Albert Einstein, just with his big smile, tongue sticking out in celebration of World Smile Day. So if you haven't already done it, maybe this will bring a smile to your face. Maybe there's something else to do today, but please walk around at least once and have a big smile for all of us. Take one last look, and then we'll chat for just a little bit. So check out the details up close. Actually, the details, the mistakes, the the brush strokes, everything that makes up what this portrait is. And, you know, part of this process is just building it up one brush stroke at a time. It's not just one color that makes a portrait, but it's the combination, the orchestra of these colors coming together. Uh, and also, thank you all so, so much for joining uh, us for this Art Life Live session on Friday, celebrating World Smile Day. If you're wondering how you can support this live stream, it's all we ask is that you hit the share button follow, subscribe for future sessions. We would love for you to join as well. So um, we appreciate you watching, but don't go anywhere. We're gonna take one last look and we're gonna chat. Also, I'm gonna give you a little bit more info about a giveaway we're doing tomorrow in partnership with Arteza Art Supplies. I'm gonna hook you up with some art and supplies. We'll get that music back on too. All right, so there he is, Mr. Einstein. I've never painted this before. First time doing this big smile with the tongue hanging out. Just having fun today on World Smile Day. So check. <laughs> All right, welcome back everybody. Take one last look at the Einstein portrait that I just did today. It's World Smile Day. So I had to do a portrait of one of my favorite smiles, that Einstein with his tongue sticking out. One of the brightest minds having just a fun, bright moment. All right, so welcome back everybody. Before we end this live stream, I wanna just uh, read some of the comments. We're gonna throw some on the screen also. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, we're live on Instagram as well right now, but if you don't already follow me there, go follow me tomorrow morning. We're doing an original painting giveaway along with 
art supplies from our friends at Arteza Art Supplies. So um, go follow me over there. We'll talk more about that. But for right now, there's like this eye debate happening on YouTube and Facebook right now. So let's just start at the top. So someone said blue. You can throw them on the screen. So uh, Do Waffle, I think his name was Jacob. So, yeah, so he said blue. Uh, Joan said brown. So Kanye said brown. Uh, let's see. Someone said they Googled it and it said blue. I'm torn. I'm, I'm very torn. We're going to look it up right now. I want to find out what color was Einstein's eyes. That's all, that's all we want to know. I'm, so we're going to look up the facts. Brown eyes. It says brown. On, so on his, the source was his passport and it said he had brown eyes. All right, so I'm gonna go with that. But I wonder what website is out there telling people that Einstein had blue eyes? I don't know, we're gonna focus on his smile today. We did, we did a portrait of him smiling with his tongue out. Uh, so actually Peter said you might paint the doors uh, Morrison Hotel for its 50th anniversary. All right, I'm not sure what that is. Is there an anniversary coming up for the doors? The album. Got it. Okay, the album is coming up. Uh, Cesario. No, thank you. Thank you for tuning in, sending love to your family as well. And uh, let's scroll up in some of the comments, maybe answer some questions that I may be going to see. Okay, so uh, Kanye was asking, is your family still doing Halloween even though it's COVID-19? Uh, so I'm assuming like trick-or-treating. I, I don't know yet, but I've been going to Walmart and washing my hands afterwards. I've been going to Target or places. So I think whatever you do, take your precautions, be safe out there. And it's, it's up to your own personal, you know, decision to, to do that. I don't know yet if we're gonna go trick or treating. So uh, let's see. Um, sending love to Rodway Kingston for just showing love. I appreciate that. Sending love back to you. And yes, all those Albert Einstein guesses in the comments. All right, so it was World Smile Day. That's what I wanted to do, that, uh, that painting of Einstein smiling, just to celebrate it. I appreciate you all joining us today and remember to do everything with paint, passion, action, intent, new and to teach and with those principles you can do and create anything in life. We will be back next Thursday for Thursday's Art Life Live. In the meantime, follow my Instagram for daily updates. You can follow me on all platforms at Garibaldi Arts. And uh, before we sign off, take a look at Einstein giving you a laugh for World Smile Day. My name is David Garibaldi. This was Art Life Live.